Hey guys, it's Mrs. C. Um, so I am recording this in my van because that's where I have lived today. But I wanted to get this done for you and get it uploaded so that those of you who are waiting to plan, maybe with community tomorrow, uh, can have this ready to go for you. So sorry that it's in the car. Hope that's not too distracting. My car is making loud sounds. Let me turn the air off and hopefully that'll help. So, all right, so week 13 today. Woo, first day back. It was a little rough. I'm not gonna lie. It was really good. I just felt like I've forgotten everything from the previous 12 weeks. So, um, all right, we're gonna start out with Latin. So Latin, we're learning it to the tune of King Things from, or the King Things tune, there we go. Um, so last week, week 12, we had in principio erat where boom. And this week we're gonna have in where boom erat apodeum. And dies erat where boom. So the English version goes, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So on my board, I wrote up um, the words for them, and I coordinated words for, between English and Latin. So like, where boom and word was always in orange throughout. And then we did hand motion. So we had um, at where boom. So where boom is word. And we've been like going like word. Throwing a gang sign. That's not really a gang sign. But you know like. And the word was. Uh, so um, erat. So it's like way over here. It was a long time ago. Was a pud with dame. God. All right. And then for the next one. The next one. <laughs> the next one we have. At Deus, so and God, and it says was word in the Latin, but in the English it's different, obviously. So, at Deus, no, don't do, don't do this. Sorry, at Deus, erat, where boom, okay. And so for the English we have, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So they're a little different on the two, um, on the last one, you switch up some of the signs. Okay. So, um, then we have science and this is from, I believe it's the not grass. I think is who it is. Um, they did this to the tune of spoonful of sugar. So you should go check out their channel, but, um, it's what is the atomic number and what is the atomic number? The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom, which is also the number of electrons in a neutral atom. So we just sang that a few times through. Um, it's really catchy. It's been in my head all day, but I keep getting mixed up between where neutral and number and protons and electrons and all that jazz is, so I'm still learning. Um, then we went on to English and we had to beat and I had told them that I contemplated letting them just beat on each other but I didn't think their parents would like that too much. So I brought in little cups so we beat the top of our cups like a drum so we had to beat, beat beats, beat beating beaten. We just kind of did it in a rhythm like that and we did it slower and faster and of course they all like to do it supersonic fast at the end. So we did that. Um, then we went on to geography. We have the Western Mountains today. So we had the Rocky Mountains. Like, you know, you're going over some really rocky. So they were Rocky Mountains. Then we had Pikes Peak. And I helped them remember Pikes Peak, you know, Pike or P um, has the little hump on it. So it makes it go over. And Pikes Peak is over it's the one that's the most if you're looking at a map it's the one that's the most eastern between pikes peak and mount elbert and our next one's mount, mount elbert and every time we said elbert we had to make an l with our arms which i can't do because i'm in the car so we said mount elbert and then we had um the sierra nevadas and i said if you say sierra nevadas you have to know that it's definitely not in nevada okay it's in california um, so Sierra Nevada is not in Nevada. Um, and then we had Mount Whitney and just like your knee is in the middle 
of your leg, Mount Whitney is almost right in the middle of the Sierra Nevada. So that's how we remembered that. Um, okay, that was all of geography. So then we had history. Tell me about the 14th Amendment. Guys, I was lame today. I just, I couldn't think of anything to do for history. So I wrote up on the board and we sang through it and I erased words and it worked. It was fine. Um, but no awesome sauce, as Noble would say, for history today. Um, for math, we did the Kingdom of Gallon. Uh, I'll go over that really quickly just in case you've never heard of the Kingdom of Gallon. So I teased them and told them we were going to have a fairy tale for math today. And so up on your board, what you do is you draw a huge G and you say, in the Kingdom of Gallon, you draw a big G. And then you say there are four queens of their courts. Okay, so then you draw four big Qs for courts. So there's four courts and one gallon. Okay, and each queen has two pint sized princesses. So then you draw two Ps inside of each of the Qs. So then you have two pints equals one court. Okay, and then each princess has two cup sized kittens. And two cups equals one pint. And then the very end, each kitten drinks eight fluid ounces of milk every day. Eight fluid ounces equals one cup. So in the end, you have a big G, somewhat smaller Q's, smaller P's, little C's, and little eights in all of them. Okay? And then you can erase it and have them help you tell the story. Um, you can try to, you know, confuse them and ask how many P's are in a, you know, how many pints are in a court or princesses each queen had and that kind of stuff so um, that's just that's a fun way to do that one uh, so then the last thing we have is timeline so we have age of exploration or explorers circa 1400 to circa 1600 okay so Prince Henry we're gonna make an H for Henry Prince Henry founds the school of navigation and we're doing our hands like this because he's at the helm of a ship and he's steering what is that called I cannot remember I cannot remember today what the name of the wheel of the ship is called. I know it has a name. Anyway. Um, and then slave trade. So you just cross your wrist like this. I'm sorry, this is such an awkward angle. Slave trade in Africa, and we always kind of pat on our legs like the drums in Africa. In Africa. Gutenberg, so you're going to make a G. G looks like this. Okay. And then you're going to put it, your G just right on top of your hand and make a little printing press. Print, print. Gutenberg's printing press. Songhai, we've got our gold in Africa. Pat on your legs again. And then we have Tsar Ivan. So we're going to make an I for Ivan the Great. Oh, he's so amazing. Tsar Ivan the Great of, you can't see this, Russia. Yeah, do us down on your way. Sorry, you can't see that. I apologize. But you're going to go like this. Make this on your waist, okay? Of Russia. And if you're my kids, you also have to kick your feet out like the Russian dancers do. And then you have the Spanish, so we're gonna put our Spanish capes on. So you're making hooks with your fingers. And you're gonna bring them around and hook them together. The Spanish Inquisition. We're trying to figure out which one of you is not doing what you're supposed to. Which one of you students hasn't been practicing your memory work at home? We will find out. So that is all of week 13, guys. Um, again, I apologize, this is my car, but I figured you'd rather have it now than not have it at all. <laughs> So anyway, um, hope you guys have a great week. And if this is your week 13, I hope your first day goes awesome and that you get back into the groove well. I'm excited to start this semester back. And um, 14 and 15 are already loaded. And so next week I'll try to have 16 up. So all right, guys. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.